Isn't the birth process amazing? God be praised for his wonderful creation. Now, everyone knows that we are born in a normal, natural way. But did you know that Jesus said that we must be born again if we want to enter the kingdom of heaven? Born again? What's Theo talking about, Luther? Huh, beats me. How can we be born again? Does the stork bring us twice? Hmm, I think Theo's a little soft in the head on this one. They're not the only ones who don't understand what Jesus meant. There are those who think that being born again simply means someone really, really dedicated to a cause. Think that there are different kinds of Christians. The born again Christians are just a little scary. Others think that it's all about reforming your old ways, like turning over a new leaf. The Bible says that none of us are good enough to enter the kingdom of heaven. It says that each of us is born dead. Spiritually dead, that is. Spiritual death means that we are separated from God. Our bodies may be physically alive, but we are spiritually dead because of our sin. We need to be given spiritual life before we can have a living relationship with God and enter the kingdom of heaven. We need to be born again. Let's take a look at a shoebox Bible story about a religious teacher that Jesus taught a very important lesson to. There was a man named Nicodemus who came to see Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who comes from God, for no one can do the miracles that you do unless God was with him. The Bible says Nicodemus was a Pharisee. We know that the Pharisees were very strict in their religious lives. This meant that Nicodemus studied the scriptures every day. He knew them by heart and would have been careful to do everything that they told him to do. The Pharisees went to the temple and prayed at least three times a day. They were careful to give a tenth of everything they earned. They fasted regularly, more in fact than the scriptures told them to fast. The Pharisees gave money to the poor and did many good works in the community. The people considered them holy men who were very close to God. Surely if there was anyone good enough to enter heaven, it was Nicodemus. 
Perhaps when he came to visit Jesus, he wanted Jesus to tell him that he was doing well. But instead, Jesus said something that Nicodemus did not expect to hear. He said that Nicodemus must be born again before he could enter the kingdom of heaven. Nicodemus was confused and asked, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter his mother's womb a second time and be born? Jesus told him that he needed to be born from above by the power of the Holy Spirit. And still, Nicodemus did not understand. The Old Testament clearly shows that everyone is a sinner and needs a spiritual rebirth. So why didn't Nicodemus, a teacher and ruler of the Jewish people, understand this important truth? Jesus' words to Nicodemus are just as true for us today as they were when he spoke them. We must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. There is no other way. You may ask, how can we be born again? It's very simple. The moment we place our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and accept the forgiveness he offers, something miraculous takes place. We are made spiritually alive by the Holy Spirit. We are born again into God's family. We immediately enter the kingdom of heaven and enjoy an intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. We cannot earn this gift. We cannot work for it. It is by God's grace through faith that we are saved. Wouldn't you like to be born again today? Should I ask? I'm trying to be born again. 